Okay, so part two, your fitness journey must be spiritual also if you want it to last. Okay, so what does that mean? A lot of people don't realize that food, drinks, people are their idols. And what happens is when I start working with them and we start removing those things. So the first thing that usually happens is because we're trying to be healthier, we're removing those hyper palatable foods that provide you with that um, dopamine hit and that provide you with that comfort that you're looking for. And people start to realize how much they rely on food for things that they should be relying on God for and how much of a connection they have to food um, more than they actually have a connection to God. So if you really want to change, you have to kind of remove those things so you can see where you can improve your life. So for a lot of my clients, we start by, you know, let's, let's limit our sugar this week. Let's limit the amount of fast food we're eating. Let's limit our alcohol. And inevitably, they start to feel immensely depressed. They start to feel immensely um, unwell under the weather because they have been using alcohol and food to soothe their emotions, to deal with life's triggers. And I'm like, okay, this is where, number one, let's go get you a therapist so we can work through this stuff. And number two, this is where you get to invite God in and ask him to provide you with the peace that you're looking for, that you want, and that you need so that you can stop turning to food as your um, your, your solution for things. And this is the hardest part of the journey because, you know, I think a lot of uh, people, particularly like Christians and stuff, we're okay. You know, we're not okay with homosexuality we're not okay with abortion but when it comes to food addiction folks are okay <laughs> they just don't it's not considered a cardinal sin right but for a lot of people it is it's a huge stumbling block and so um yeah you if you really want to change your life you're going to have to get very spiritually deep and deal with the stuff that you've been hiding and stuffing down with alcohol, food, etc.